Assalamu alaikum this is Shamma Tazara and today my topic of discussion is the arterial supply of the heart now i have chosen this topic because we are really confused around uh, on this point that which but are the branches of the artery that supplies the heart and uh, which part is supplied by which branch of the coronary artery so here i have made it a bit simplified so that it becomes easy to remember and recall okay as we know the uh, so my whole video is basically divided into two parts in the first part i'll focus on the arterial supply of the heart and all the branches of the the arteries and in the second part i'll discuss that which part of the heart is supplied by which branch of the coronary arteries okay now to remember it as we know that all parts of our body is supplied by aorta so of course heart it will also be supplied by a branch that comes from aorta right so from here we remember that and and again we know that our heart has two parts right side of the heart and left side of the heart okay so there are two branches right coronary artery and the left coronary artery that supplies the respective sides of the heart okay now this right coronary artery it comes here of course from aorta first branch right coronary artery now to remember all the branches of the right coronary artery i have made a mnemonic that this coronary artery it one time moves up and two times it moves down one time moves up and two times move down when it gives off its first branch upward near the opening of this coronary sinus the first branch it gives off and it goes up this branch is called the sa nodal artery as it supplies the sa node then this continues in the anterior coronary sulcus moves to the margin here it gives of its second branch means it has to move down as i told you before so this branch it moves down is this one it moves around the right border of the heart and the inferior border of heart up to the apex of the heart okay this is called the as it moves around the margin so it is called the right marginal artery and it is also called right acute marginal artery now why it is called acute marginal artery because at its origin it forms an acute angle that is less than 90 degree okay now it has to move down once again so it curves around the posterior coronary sulcus the line which i have made in dotted and gives off its second branch which is the posterior interventricular artery or the posterior descending artery posterior interventricular artery or the posterior descending artery so i'll repeat the right coronary artery it originates from aorta gives off its first branch moves up that is the sa nodal artery second branch that is the right marginal artery and curves behind posterior coronary sulcus gives off its last branch that is posterior interventricular artery or the posterior descending artery now we talk talking about the left coronary artery the, the difference between left and right coronary artery is that left coronary artery is very short it just is of 2 to 3 cm long and then it gives off its first branch and continues as left circumflex artery i explain it to you so this is the left coronary artery it is just 2 to 3 cm long then it it moves around the anterior coronary sulcus on the left side and gives off its first branch that is the left anterior descending artery so this is the whole left and left anterior descending artery so this left anterior descending artery it moves around the whole anterior surface near the interventricular septum its left side up to the apex of the heart then it continues as left circumflex artery left circumflex artery on the margin of the heart it gives off a branch same as the right side that is the left marginal artery 
left marginal artery it gives off a branch and then it curves around the posterior coronary sulcus like so this dotted line shows the posterior side this is my first part of the video completed i'll again repeat it the left side left coronary artery first branch left anterior descending artery second left circumflex artery which continues behind and at its margin gives off a branch called left marginal artery now second part we'll discuss that which part of the heart each of the branch supplies starting from sa nodal artery sa nodal artery of course by its name it supplies the sa node of the heart second is the this whole right coronary artery right coronary artery it supplies the right atrium and the right ventricle of the heart its branches right marginal artery this right marginal artery as it is evident it supplies the right ventricle of the heart and this apex of the heart so basically it is supplying the inferior surface of the heart or it is also called the diaphragmatic surface of the heart fine then is this posterior descending artery or posterior interventricular artery now its name indicates that it will supply of course the posterior sides of the left and the right ventricle plus it will supply the posterior one third of the interventricular septum so what this posterior descending artery is supplying it is supplying the right, left ventricle right ventricles posterior sides plus the posterior one third of the interventricular septum now talking about this main big artery left anterior descending artery which is a branch of left coronary artery as talked before so this left anterior descending artery it supplies same as posterior descending artery but the anterior sides it supplies the anterior sides of the left ventricle and the right ventricle plus this posterior one third is supplied by this posterior descending artery and the anterior two third is supplied of the interventricular septum is supplied by the left anterior descending artery then is the left circumflex artery it supplies left atrium as it is present here left atrium and the left ventricle this left marginal artery it will of course as the in area indicates it will supply the lateral part of the heart and mostly the left ventricle part now the main rule to remember that which branch will supply which area of the heart is that the branch where it moves where it passes over the surface of the heart the area of the heart the same area it will supply also so it's very easy to remember it here a quick recall right iota gives off its branch uh, so it's basically the summary of the whole lecture iota gives off its first branch right coronary artery it gives it moves around anterior coronary sulcus gives off first branch called sa nodal artery supplies the sa node of the heart then it moves gives off second branch called right marginal artery which supplies the right ventricle and the apex of the heart or the inferior or diaphragmatic surface of the heart curves behind gives off its branch posterior descending artery or posterior interventricular artery this supplies the posterior side of the left ventricle and the right ventricle and the posterior one third of the uh, interventricular septum talking about the left coronary artery it is smaller than the right coronary artery just 2 to 3 cm long gives off its first branch shortly called the left anterior descending artery it supplies the left ventricle and right ventricle anterior surfaces plus the anterior 2/3 of the interventricular septum left circumflex artery it supplies left atrium and left ventricle and then at its margin gives off a branch called left marginal artery now this marginal artery is also called left obtuse marginal artery because at its origin it forms an angle that is greater than 90 degrees 
and of course it is present on the lateral side so it will supply the lateral part of the heart or the left ventricle mainly curves behind and finishes so this is the whole summary of the arterial supply of the heart at the end i would like to thanks a big thanks to my teachers uh, dr ahmed and a very very special thanks to my teacher dr mubeen who helped me a lot inspired me and to do this effort of helping others and then it's just a request to please like share and subscribe i hope it helped you out thank you so much allah hafiz